Hey there Taurus, hey there Taurus, welcome to the Luce Lemire channel, welcome to your love reading for mid-November onwards. Um, the energy we're looking into is the person on your mind, what their feelings are towards you, um, what their intentions are towards you, um, what they might want to say, so some channeled messages, and then we're going to go into the extended and look at what's next in the connection what's next between you two, their actions, more of what they would want to say, um, when they would want to say, like, we'll look at what comes up. We're also going to be looking at guidance for you as well in, in this whole thing, okay? I'm not going to leave you high and dry just talking about them. Come on now. So let's jump right into it. Let's look at what their feelings are for you mid-November to onwards, so far let's see how do they feel about my Torians right now in the timeline of the mid-november onwards that's a lot that's a lot of feelings that's a lot of feelings okay so first and foremost, they want to give the relationship a chance. And there's also a separation. They might be separating from you or someone else. Um, that's something on their mind. And also engagement. So this is very strange. You two might be in a separation um, energy. Or they want to give the relationship a chance by separating. Um, this is also, they're optimistic about things between you or they're wanting to be more optimistic about things between you. Love yourself first in the deck and soulmate at the top. So this person, their feelings for you, Taurus, are there, but they also want some space. <laughs> what? So they, 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 they yo, mm-hmm. Look, they're getting my tongue tied. <sighs> this looks like someone that does enjoy you, but they also want some space from you. Um, they... Mm? If you two are currently in some type of separation, you're not really talking, there's doubts. Okay, there have been doubts that have been thrown into this dynamic. Um... They still want to give this a chance with you. They still want to get to know you better. They still want to engage with you. And if anything, perhaps this separation between you two is making them want to talk to you more. Is making them want to feel more towards you. So it almost seems like the more you two separate, the more doubts that come to them, the more time they have apart, the more space they have the more they want to connect deeper with you. It's just really weird that they there's this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I guess it makes them feel... I feel like it makes them feel like they don't want to talk about the space, but they do. Girl? <laughs> girl? I call everybody girl. If you don't identify as girl, that's fine. That's your business. But I call everybody girl. I call this this Rose Quartz girl. I call my cards girl. I called my dad girl once. I said, girl, what you doing? It's not disrespectful. It's just what comes out of my mouth. So it's, it's like, honey. Hey, honey. You know, hey, girl. Um, How do they feel about my Taurus? They can feel the separation. I feel like the separation makes them want more. Dominion. They, I feel like this person wants some type of control. This person wants some type of control. Um, arousal. So you turn them on. <laughs> uh. So maybe they miss the physicality between you two. That's not really something I'm going into in terms of like intimacy and physical intimacy and the like in this reading. But that could be something that relates to your dynamic specifically where you two have a um, 
uh, a physical connection that they like and miss question mark for some of you this person misses you they think about you they sort of long for you in a way um with mischief in reverse i just wonder what this drama do they want to call it drama <laughs> i feel like yeah there feels like a bubbling it feels like there's a bubbling of someone who wants to say something but they're stopping themselves from saying it but it's running in their system so if they speak they're speaking from like this place that they haven't really spoken out loud from if you get what i mean it's almost like when you know something it's almost like when you know something about somebody that you found out online or someone told you something about them and now you know it and you're careful about what you say or you say things in a certain way that alludes to that like it's just there's something that they're they that they're they're feeling that they're going through that about this dynamic that they don't want to talk about but they also really really want to talk about that's what I'm getting with this mischief and heart to heart conversations. They could be somebody who's separated from someone else and they want to give you a chance or they're thinking about separating from someone else. So for those of you in a third party, you know, there's something there. But this person is thinking about you and they want to engage more with you. Like they want to spend more time together is what I'm seeing. Tell me more about heart to heart conversations. Yeah, um... We have the Ace of Cups in the negative and the Five of Pentacles in the positive. So there is <laughs> a being left out here. Like there is, a, a, to me, this... I mean, these, these cards definitely... And then we have Nine of Pentacles on the negative. Oh, Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, this kind of brings in a new, a new take. Let me feel into this. The Five of Pentacles in the positive, the Ace of Cups in the negative. This is somebody who wants to hold on. That looks like a sense of control, a little sense of drama. Um, but there's something about this, com this combination. I will say this, there could be some confusion here. If you two aren't together, but they have certain expectations that they want or you have certain expectations that they would like but there's that dissonance between we're not together so i can't really ask for it but i do want to ask for it it just really feels like there's this energy of i don't want to say something but i really want to say something so there's just like yeah this energy of yeah, of of not saying something, but really wanting to say something. The Ace of Cups in the negative talks about opening up. That's the guidance in it. It's, it talks about what you're looking for being hidden from you. The cause being a closed heart hurt by friends who have not told you the truth. Open up, forget the evil you suffered, the bitterness, and the, fir the first. be the first to forgive. Only in this way will you begin to grasp, grasp the beauty and the healing of the grail. The grail being the cup. Five of Pentacles on the positive says this card, lead, this card leads you to the end of hard times and interruptions and isolation and loneliness. Leave behind negative emotions and sorrows. Normalcy will return quickly. Give back to the poor and unfortunate those who ask for your help. So I just feel like eh, this person... They want to talk about this this dynamic. Certain things that are happening between you two are based off of some... There's something about their past. Either it could be between you and them or between them and another person from their past that is um, interfering with their connection to you. Um, and so... Yeah, 
but they do want to engage with you a lot more. Let's see what their intentions might be here with you. What are their intentions towards Taurus? They're optimistic. To, yeah, I mean, these are the cards that sort of were coming out before, I think. Um, we have soulmate. We have it's safe for you to love. Okay. And free yourself. This person is still going through something. Um, they're still tied up with something else. And that's very relevant, prevalent to them and how it affects your dynamic. Um, can you tell me about what this free yourself is in relation to a little bit more? Yeah, they're still tied up to something else. Hanged Man and the Five of Swords. They're still going through it. They're still... Maybe they're longing for someone in the past. Or <sighs> there's some energies that they feel dissatisfied with. This could be the, the thing that they want to express to you but aren't expressing to you. Um, we will see what they want to say in the channel messages coming up. But... The hangman here, ugh, this is, I really, this card is so evocative to me. It's just so sad. He's struggling up there, you know? Um, it almost looks like someone looking at the past and being confronted by it, having difficulty sleeping. Like, this person is really bound by the circumstances that they're in, and it's difficult for them to move away from them. It's difficult for them to to move away from them. This person is, is going through something emotionally. Um, that's sad. It's safe for you to love and their protection is, to me, I feel like they're trying. <laughs> like the sympathizer. I'm in their energy. What can I say? It feels like they're trying. It feels like they're doing what they can. Tell me about this. I bent my card. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. They're trying. Look, amen, amen, brothers and sisters. Um, Spirit, high five to you, baby. You're really out here. Thank you so much for being here. This is the perfect energy for me to, to show what I'm feeling with this. This, to me, it feels like their energy right now, their intentions towards you are to come in and out. And let me explain why that is kind of a good thing here from my perspective which is being in their energy let me hopefully explain that to you Taurus this person is trying to give time to this connection they're keeping their mind open they're keeping their heart open as best as they can given what they've been through or are going through they're trying to open up to you because they do feel a sense of belonging. They do like that your energy is around them and you give them a sense of optimism. You give them, you know, you light a fire under them in the best way. And also in the worst way because it really highlights how they're still hung up on the past. They're still hung up on what they've been through, what they are, go what they are going through, what they have with them. And so they're in and out. With this Knight of Wands energy, to me, it's like when they're with you, they want to show you a good time. And when they're away from you, they want to deal with the other stuff. So this is someone who's in and out, in and out. And they're trying to have, to attend to both things. They're trying to attend to you. And they're also simultaneously trying to attend to their stuff. So... This perhaps hot and cold energy, this perhaps in and out energy that you might be feeling towards them in their intentions, how that comes across from them is not to be hot and cold, but it's to give you the time of day that they want to give you, that they feel like they, they, they want to give to you, but at the same time, they know that there's some stuff that they really have to deal with and are going through and they want to give time to that healing and processing as well. So it feels like they're giving you, they, they intend to give you the time that they can. The time that they, they, they can. The time that, you know, that they're physically able to, emotionally able to. Um, they're trying. Because they do intend to continue feeling the bond with you and feeding that bond with you and that connection with you 
and to try and be hopeful to try and make plans to try and do those types of things that someone who is interested does it's just they also are still going through some craziness in their being um so they want to see where this goes is how i'm i'm reading that situation okay so next i want to see what they want to say to you you know what is what are some things that they would want to say what do they want to say to taurus we're going to use this deck and then we're also going to use my deck which i'm quite partial to the bottom of the deck energy is i want to tell you how i feel that's hilarious <laughs> that's funny um come through spirit spirits out here in these streets we thank you for being present here for the taurus folk and giving them what what they need to hear let's move you down what do they want to say to my torrents Hard fell on the ground, girl. All right. You know what? I need to go live. By the way, there will be an extended, and the extended will look at their actions, their likely actions, given the energy. Um, what's next in the connection? We're going to do more of these cards, see what else um, we need to look into. Um, but I want to give you enough here so that you can decide if you want to follow along. Um, I'm kind of excited about the extended for this one because I want to know what their likely actions are towards you. Um, We have, I want to tell you how I feel. And I feel like this is more than just their feelings for you. I feel like it's, they want to tell you what they're going through. It, it, this feels like someone who wants to scream and yell and say, I'm going through this. I'm still hurting. I'm in pain. I'm, I'm suffering. I, I want to, but there's a, there's a block there. Um, and that's sad. But just because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm in their energy, this feels like it wants to be upright. I don't know what this is. I haven't really even looked at these. These are just cards to me. I haven't read them yet. But this one also wants to be in the upright. But whatever. I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay. We will be together again. You came closer than anyone. We need to let go. We need to let each other go. Okay. I want to hear all about it. This makes me want to flip it like this, but it's born like this. I don't want to hurt you. And this is, I don't know what you want me to say. So we have some saying stuff here that's, <sighs> that's a lot. Um, I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> you deserve better. Wow. I see you in my future and you're a special person. You know that? Here's the thing. Um... I don't, I'm not, I don't know. I, I'm not picking up that these are things they want to say to you, about you. I feel like these are things that they want to say to the past person. I'm getting, um, I'm picking up on quite a bit of past person energy here. Whoa. Um with your person and with i want to tell you how i feel this feels the most to you uh that i'm getting so let's let's dissect this a bit this is a lot. I want to give you a message that makes sense and is true to them. I knew exactly what I was doing. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't want to hurt you. 
I see you in my future. You deserve better. I'm here. I'm really picking up that these are things they would want to say to a past person. But if you know your situation and this is what they want to say to you, we'll, 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 we'll you go with that. But I'm going to say this in the way that I'm picking it up first. And if it comes up to you, then we'll go there. You came closer than anyone. We need to let each other go. We will be together again. This person is moving through heartbreak. Um, if that heartbreak is with you, then okay. But what I'm picking up here is somebody who is trying to get over the past with their past person and how that is something that is blocking something deeper and real with you and so you deserve better i think whomever they're getting over and again if this is you okay but whomever they're getting over is somebody who they really thought was end game um and that unraveling in terms of unraveling that person from their energy is something that is still happening for them they're saying goodbye to pasts futures that will never happen they're saying goodbye to dreams and wishes that are not going to happen and they see you as someone special they see you as someone great and they think that you deserve better than having somebody who's still becoming someone who's still unraveling someone who's still in that space of letting go of someone else of another energy And that's probably where they don't know how to tell you that. They don't know how to tell you. And uh, I'm so, that's that that's that's that heart to heart in the reverse. They want to tell you this, but they don't know how to, to really say it. Like, how do you tell someone who has feelings for you, maybe who does want to be with you and that you feel fondly for? But how do you tell them that you're still involved with someone else in your heart? that person is still there and that that is difficult for you to then you know give this person in front of you what they you know they deserve i see you in my future here is i think something that they want they because i mean they they do have feelings for you so They want to also hear all of, like, they want to hear, they want you also to be more vulnerable with this. I want to hear all about it. They want, they want you to be more vulnerable. Um, yeah, they don't want to hurt you. They really don't want to hurt you. And that's why I feel like that there was such an adamancy around that Knight of Wands energy of in and out, in and out, because they want to give you that time. They want to come towards you and be there with you. But they also know that in their psyche, in their being, there's still this other energy that they're dealing with. They want to be present, but it, it's, it's, it's difficult when there's something just inside you that is, is still inside you. So this is what I see them wanting to say to you. I feel like it's a lot more about their past, a lot more about what is going on inside of them, outside of the things that they may tell you about how they feel about you. I think there is something else that they're wrestling with in their being. Um, yeah. So what I'm curious to see um, 
in the extended is again we're going to be looking at like what their likely actions are towards you i'm curious to see how in the next several you know the time coming forward how they're going to be coming towards you like with what energy and um if their intentions are to still sort of be around you i want to see how that's going to come across so let's look at your guidance still real quickly before we start going into um the extended and i'm going to also pull what's next in the connection in fact let's do that now i want to get that energy out of here out here what spirit is next in this connection what's next in this connection crossroads at the bottom of the deck you know we'll leave that out let's move you up Ooh, child. what's the guidance for my taurus watching this okay taurus so you can follow us into the extended where we're going to look into what these energies are let's flip this over oh Okay, we have the bear, the mountain, and the rider. So this is what's next and the crossroads at the bottom of the deck. As for you, your guidance is showing up in the form of house cleaning. Cleaning house in the protection position. So cleaning house is an energy about letting people do their own work in the protection. It's... Um, It really is about letting people do their own work. So your guidance at this time is, why do you hold on to things that remind you of the past? Oh. Is your home cluttered with objects that bring up unhappy memories? Do you have a tendency to attract broken people who need to be fixed? If you're involved in this type of emotional project, stop right now and clean house. Being needed isn't going to get you what you really need. That said, even if you initially resist letting go of excess physical or emotional ba baggage, you'll feel amazing afterward. Let go and let the universe bring you something better. Make space. The universe doesn't like a vacuum and will respond to your house cleaning by filling your home with what will best serve you. So this is a word. Um, for you, yeah, I mean, that kind of says what it says, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, man talks about cleaning house um and checking in with what you're holding on to that reminds you of the past um this is a very interesting call out do you have a tendency to attract broken people who need to be fixed if you're involved in this type of emotional project stop right now and clean house being needed isn't going to get you what you really need so figure out what you really need. And if it is being needed, then hey, it is what it is. But when you get a little bit more clarity over what it is that you need and what it is this, this dimension, this connection brings for you, that might help you um, a little bit better understand what you need and the next best step for you. Okay. So next, I'm going to say goodbye. If you'd like a personal reading, come through. If you'd like to come with me into the extended, I'm going into it right, right now, now, now. Um, I will see you there. Keep your light on and good luck. Otherwise, the link for the extended is in the description box below. But if you would like a personal reading on your personal situation, you can come through for that as well. All right, I'll see you then. Okay, Taurus, so what are their likely actions?